All right, we're back. Just see a little better. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the bearing on here now. So I had to get the uh, something to beat against to shove it in with. So I got me a selection of nuts here to use for whatever fits on here. So got some nice big ones here. Probably one like that. That's what I'll use. So I take nuts and use them for all kinds of things. Bore the threads out and. They make good things for all kinds of different things besides being a nut. Okay, so we want to put this in here. Uh, our problem is we want to make sure that we don't beat these roller bearings here against the side of the shaft. So you have to lift the shaft up a little bit in the air to keep from doing that. So here's just a piece of sheet and lead laying around. I put that underneath the gear here. So I'm still engaged in the bearing on the other side. That lifts it up enough that now this here engages in the area where it's supposed to on the shaft. So now it holds everything center and you won't beat on anything, cause damage. So it's hard to see in there, but yeah. Anyway, now this bearing right here is anywhere it belongs. Next thing I take it down, take my nut, put it up on there. And I got a sleeve here. I just beat on with a hammer is what I use it for. Put that on top of the nut and then I can beat on that with a hammer. So now we'll pull back a little bit. So we use the appropriate size hammer. Check my clearance. If I can go a little bit further before I lose it. It appears I'm engaging the roller, so I don't have to worry about my shim anymore. Okay, so everything's in there where it belongs. So now we go ahead and get some other tools. Go ahead and beat it down all the way. Everything spins freely on the other side. I was just thinking when I was doing that, it's probably some kind of a shim washer I was supposed to put in there, but that I didn't put in. Okay, so let's see what we're doing wrong here. Right now I've gone in so far that it's locked up on me, which is not a good sign. So Knock this back out again. A little bit anyway. It's kind of freed up a little bit. Spinning freely, but no inflow yet. So hit it again. Still don't feel any inflow. All right, we got very limited free play there. Now 
one more hit here. Okay, I get this a little bit of free play. Now we'll look through our assortment of washers and see what's missing. Maybe we're supposed to put something in there. Stupid phone again. Look, so, beating on a tranny. Uh, I don't know. Doing it right now. Mm-hmm. Same thing, I'll be tripping over it too. So. Take it apart. Take the front end of shit off. Take the front end wheels off of it. Oh. Mm hmm. Alright, well, if you can't squeeze it in, bring it over here. I'll make a spot for it. Okay. Okay, so I'm looking to see what we got for parts here. So we got some needle bearings here that do something. Almost like they take up in play. So, yeah, I'm sure they go someplace. Yeah. All right, for now. in play but pretty tight we'll give it one more hit if in doubt make it looser there. okay so Let's see, where do you think all these parts go? Doesn't appear they go in the main shaft. So my guess is they go in the counter shaft over here someplace. That does not go on the counter shaft. Could go on there. My guess is it probably does. This stuff I don't know where it goes yet. Okay, where's my shifter shift at? I know I took this out here at some point, so I guess it's time to put it back in. Yeah, how did that go in though? I guess it goes in there something like that. Let's 
See, this would have helped if I filmed this when I took it apart. All right, let me find some more parts. We'll be back. <laughs> 